So this video is going to show you how to install the latest version of eDrawings, a 3D virtual model viewer provided by SolidWorks. So this procedure is probably not as easy as it could be. It involves many dialog boxes, answering questions, and it takes some time to download, extract, and finally get it all installed, and then you still have to make more uh, choices before you're finally done. So I'm going to expedite this for you and show you all the steps involved. So let's start by first going to Google and do a search for eDrawings. And that's just a regular word, drawings, with an E in front of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to make certain that we're going to download the most current version of the software. This gives us the capacity to open up most any 3D file provided to you, no matter how new it is. So right now it's the fall of 2016, but the latest version of eDrawings, eDrawings 2017, is available. And that's what we're going to download. What you're likely to see now are a few links provided by the eDrawings website. You can choose the download link and jump right to the file download if you like, or you can click on the eDrawings viewer link and you can learn a little bit more about the program. Choosing that link, it says that the program targets people who are non-CAD professionals, but gives them the capacity to view and review various CAD files that it will open. And it opens most of them too. So it states that it gives you a number of options to view the file, and you can even save what you see in the screen into various image file formats, including STL, which is used by 3D printer programs. It's also available in Windows as well as a Mac version. So if we click on the download button, it takes us to another page with more choices. At the top of the page, it gives us an option to download the professional version, which is a pay version, with a 15-day trial period. Now this version is good if you want to communicate through eDrawings and provide responses to any markups your designer may have provided to you. So if we move down the page a little bit more, we will find a link to the regular eDrawings viewer, which will provide us with the functionality that we're looking for, the ability to view 3D virtual models that our designer may provide for us. So we have a few different options here, one for Windows and one for the Mac. So choose the option that complies with your computer and operating system. And for this video, I'm going to go ahead and choose the Windows option. So once we make our selection, it takes us to the eDrawing section of the SolidWorks website. SolidWorks developed the product. And this site gives us even more options to choose from. So we could choose either the eDrawings viewer on top or the viewer with support for SolidWorks shaders data. Now the latter option may be appropriate for models with surface texturing or rendering. I've downloaded both and installed both versions and opened up various models with them and see very little difference between them. Now the professional version may uh, provide some options here too and you could always purchase that later. But for this video I'm going to choose the regular version of eDrawings. So then make your selection and then click on the gray download button. Now once we click on the download, we're taken yet to another web page with uh, two more options. The first option asks us five questions regarding our export eligibility requirements, including questions on citizenship and promises not to re-export or abuse the software. So read this, and if you pass, click the check mark below, and then read the user agreement below that. This part is long, so I'm going to jump ahead at the end and then click on the accept user agreement button below that. So with that out of the way, the file will finally begin to download on our computer. Now I'm using Chrome as my browser and the file download link and status displays on the browser's status bar in the bottom left hand corner. If you're using another browser, your files may download in a different manner. Now this is a robust program, it may take a little while for it to download. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the video here and I'll be back here momentarily. So once the file is done downloading in Chrome, you can right click on the link and select show in folder, or you can double click on it to initiate the installation of eDrawings. Now I opened the folder location and I have the two versions of eDrawings. Go ahead and click on the version that you want to install. Now you'll also notice that before we leave this, that the shaders version of eDrawings is about twice the size of the regular version. It might take a few moments to open up the installation dialog box. So once the dialog box opens up, click on Yes if you want to sew system SolidWorks to install the program on your computer. Now you're going to get another dialog box showing the status of the extraction of the download of files. This may take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this video again, and we'll be back shortly. So, now that everything's been downloaded and extracted, now it's time to install the software. A new dialog box will open, click on the Next button. And on top of this new dialog, it's asking for some licensing credentials. And as it says, unless you want to install the professional version, just ignore this part of the dialog and click on the next button below. 
In this dialog, you're not given really the option of installing the program in a location of your choosing, so we're going to have to settle on the default location chosen by eDrawings. Now, click on the Install button. So this may take a while too, so again, I'm going to go ahead and leave this video, and we'll return soon. So when it's done installing, you get this one last dialog box. You have a choice in the top to have SolidWorks monitor this program on your computer. It's your choice, but I'm going to go ahead and say no. The next choice is to have the program check for updates every 30 days, which to me sounds like a good idea, since that way you can always open the most recent files from your designer. However, this option may also trigger your virus software regarding permissions, since uh, eDrawings may be trying to contact SolidWorks when it opens. So the last choice is whether you want eDrawings to open up when we're done here. And because this is the reason why we are here, I think that this answer should be yes. So click on the finish button. And depending on your computer, uh, this final step may take uh, some time before it finishes and opens up eDrawings. So with that said, I will be right back. When it finally opens, you're all set to go. Now one more thing, eDrawings would like you to register the use of their program and will begin to nag you the next time you open up eDrawings. The registration dialog, it'll ask you for some generalized personal and some marketing information. And it doesn't appear that you really need to provide this, but the program is probably going to nag you about this every time you try to open it up. It's up to you, but for me, to save time, I can register. The worst thing that's going to happen to you is the occasional email discussing new product features, releases, and probably some sales pitches along the way. So that ends this video on downloading and installing the SolidWorks 3D Virtual Model Viewer eDrawings. So please join me in the next video where I'll explain how to use it.